Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. I'm Jennifer Bryan on the Dogs Eat campus and I'm joined by Christy Bain, Christine with Eden? Yes. Okay, and um, we have a little treat for you, but before we get to that, there's a car behind me for a good reason and that's because Subaru of America is one of our sponsors, supporters, and a Subaru is the official car of Dogs Inc. So, they're great cars. They are. I we just have drove one. this one over. Yeah. I love it. And they also have features for animals if you travel with your pet a mm -hmm. lot. So anyway, had to throw that in there. Thank you, Subaru, for all of your support. And so Dogs, Inc., obviously we have dogs everywhere, but today we have a little bit of a surprise for our audience here. We do. And I don't want to spoil the surprise, but I do want to say that it's very important to make sure that our guide dogs are responsible when they're working around cats. Because, cats? yeah. <laughs> Did I spoil the surprise? I don't know. Did you? I don't know. Probably. Looky who we have here. Yeah. This is Jenny and her furry friend Malcolm. And Christy, why do we have a cat here? Well, <laughs> we have a cat here because we need to make sure that all of our guide dogs in training are able to work safely around cats and not kind of get excited and want to go play with them when they see them. So we never know where our graduates are going to be walking that a cat might come out to say hi. Okay. Um, now with Eden here, unless I'm unless I'm incorrect, we don't actually know if she's been around cats before. Is that right, Christine? Right. So okay. this is, to our knowledge, this is the first time she's seeing a cat. She may have seen a cat before. We don't know. She yeah. probably has, but we don't know. Like in so. the puppy raiser home, maybe? Yeah, okay. yeah a lot of okay. our puppy raisers have cats. Um, a lot of them don't. So okay. this is kind of a, a mystery. What will she do? Um, so what Jenny's going to do is walk closer with the cat, and Christine is going to reward Eden if she's, if she's calm. So she's basically going to reward anything that's not lunging towards the cat and trying to jump up like that and say hi. Um, okay, so Jenny, okay. go ahead and walk. See, Eden sees it, and she looks pretty calm. Uh -huh. She does. She kind of looks like... Is this all you got? Okay, you can take another step closer, Jenny. And Malcolm's kind of used to this because you brought him on campus before, Malcolm right? is used to this, okay. yes. And maybe hold him just a little bit lower without getting any closer. Like, yeah. Sometimes when they get down on the ground, they're more exciting because uh -huh. then they start to do things that make them look like prey. Like ah. run around. Well, Malcolm doesn't look like he does a lot of running, but <laughs> <laughs> he does move around. Okay. So, we have established that Eden is pretty calm, whether Good. because she's seen cats before or because she's just a chill girl, we don't know, but... Okay. Um, so, for our next step, we're going to move Malcolm kind of up onto the path where Eden will be working, but not okay. super close to the path, because um, once she starts moving, that's kind of different um, from the dog's perspective, because uh -huh. it's easier for them to go... Um, chase the cat. I don't think she's going to chase the cat, but it's easier for them to go investigate the cat okay. if they want to because they're already in motion. Okay. So we're going to make sure she's successful. So Jenny, do you want to bring um, Malcolm up here and you can take him off into the grass, um, kind of close to those pink branch, uh, pink plants. And we're going to have Christine work Eden past, like in the direction of the curb. Um, okay. And we'll see, we'll just see how she does. So... Just another day at the office, right? Just another day at the office, <laughs> yep. And Christine's going to reward the moment when she sees the cat but okay. holds the straight line. So yep. you can see, she looked at the cat, but she's still walking straight. And that's what we want her to do. She's looking at the cat, still walking straight. Chose to walk straight again. So I think she had a moment of temptation, okay. but she, she did do the right thing the in the end. Very good. So now she's moving she confidently grass. past in the direction of the curb. So we're going to have Jenny move a little closer to the sidewalk. We're going to let Eden finish all the way up to the curb and then she'll come back. Okay. Dogs like to get where they're going, so they feel uh, like they're going somewhere for a reason. Okay. And you can bring her back, Christine. So now it's a little harder because he's closer and he's also on her side. Yes. So it would be a lot easier for her if she wanted to, to go into the grass. <laughs> oh, Chew, then swallow. <laughs> Chew, then swallow. Yep. Eden's a All good right, girl. So she is looking, but she's still going forward. Yep. They're allowed to look. We don't want guide dogs to think they can't look at anything. Sure. We just want okay. them to make a good decision and go the way they're supposed to and go. And she clicked when the dog turned its head back she away did. from the cat, right? Because what she wanted to tell, what she wanted to communicate to the dog is that the straight line is where you want to go. Like, uh -huh. and the Eden kind of had a moment when she's like, should I or shouldn't I? And she's like, nope, I shouldn't. I should go forward. Okay. And that's what she did. And so that's when she got her click is when she okay. committed to walking on the straight line. All right, we're going to do one more pass. And this time we're going to have Jenny um, come out and walk behind with Malcolm, um, if Malcolm will do that. Um, we'll see how that goes, because it's she, all up to Malcolm. <laughs> it is all up to Malcolm. What's he going to do? He's like, no, I'm going to go that way. Um, we'll see. Let's see. Eden's looking. He's more interesting now, because he's kind of moving, uh -huh. and she might, 
She was thinking about going over there, but she didn't. I don't know. We might not be able to get Malcolm to walk. Can you pick him up, Jenny? Hold on, Christine. And this is why we don't have guide cats. Or yes, exactly. Cats. They, they don't always go forward when you ask them to. Um, okay. <laughs> so Eden does I don't think she knows that he's back there, but that's okay too because I mean, that's kind of what a guide dog does. They look at things uh -huh. in their environment and then they're like, okay, that's not interesting. I'm going forward. That's what I'm supposed to do. Uh, okay, so let's bring, him back, bring her back one more time. And Jenny, can you just like keep him right there? Yeah. So this is the hardest one yet, but um, sometimes cats will actually do this. I've had cats come out. <laughs> oh, awesome. good girl, Eden. Oh, and good job, Malcolm. Yeah, Both so of you did so good. In that shot, Eden actually kind of treated Malcolm like an obstacle. Like if there was a post here, <laughs> she would pull around and get back to the safe line. Uh -huh. And that's kind of what she did with well, the Well, Eden cat, probably so. doesn't know if the cat's declawed or not, so that was a she, smart decision. Yeah, yeah. Cats are sharp. I mean, sometimes sometimes our dogs have met cats when they were puppies, and the cat um, the cat is not shy about yeah. telling the dog, like, I don't want you that close. So some, cat, some dogs have just learned that it's better to give them distance because it's just safer. But mm -hmm. either way, that was a total rock star performance Yay. by Eden, Christine, and Malcolm and Jenny. Um, Jenny, does Malcolm like being on film? He does. He likes getting out. He looks like he's looking at the wildlife out here. Yes, uh, no cats were harmed in the making of this film. <laughs> well, right. thank you for showing that to us. That's I've been wanting to do this one for a while because yes. I, I knew about this type of yes. thing, and I'm so glad we were able to show everybody at home um, that we bring cats to work too. We do, because we really have to proof these dogs for everything they might encounter. Um, mm -hmm. So we not only bring them here and station them along the path, we also, most of the guide dogs visit my house. I have two cats, um, it's close to campus, and we like to see what they're like with cats in the house. So if you get a dog from Dogs Inc., it will have been proofed around cats. <laughs> great job, Christy, thank, thank you. you. And thank you guys for joining us. Have a great weekend.